Hey everyone, Karan here, welcoming you back to Skies of Arcadia Legends. In the last episode, we made our way here into, well, basically the bottom of the world, searching for Venus' ship. We found it, we also found a couple of pieces of, I forget what it's called, uh, really precious metal. I'm sure I'll find it in the key terms here. Valorium, yeah, there you go, that's it. Anyway, we found that, we found the ship, and so now, really, I guess all we're tasked with is getting the heck out of here. I imagine we'd have to go back over this way to get the heck out of here, would we not? How do you actually leave this place, anyway? That's... Go figure. What a question that is. Or do we just... Oh, never mind. We just pull ourselves up. Okay, that works. God, this looks weird. Still! Man, but it is interesting, though, that you still have to go through all of this, kind of going up back into the regular part of the surface world, really, to be able to do all of this. Huh. I don't know. It's just a nifty little touch to things, I think. Okay, so, um, actually, something I thought to, or something I was thinking about, I went and looked at the item that I got with uh, the latest Moonfish turn-in, and it was the Marksman Gun. And I thought about it, I'm going, I don't remember anybody that uses guns, and then I realized, yes I do, his name is Gilder, and I expect, given that this is arriving, that he will soon be arriving as well, so maybe he's going to replace Enrique? I don't know. Uh, you, you guys also mentioned that there is an interesting discovery right around the Vortex. So, I'm going to see about trying to find it. I'm not sure exactly how well I will be able to find said discovery, but... Especially given that apparently the ship really can't drive very well near this thing. My goodness, it's going incredibly slowly. Why is that? I guess because of the pull of the vortex itself, maybe? I don't know. It's kind of weird. I don't know. It wouldn't happen to be this, would it? Mm, no, nah, it didn't look like it. Otherwise, it'd already be kind of freaking out on me. Huh. I don't know. I mean... Be curious to see what this discovery actually would be. And maybe it's just that this ship feels like it's going slower because it's down on this angle and you can't really see anything. That might very well be it. Uh, and also, hi. Um, wow, this looks weird. This is really hard to make out. I don't know why. It's just really kind of crazy. And I might be just getting myself all turned around and stuff. It looks like I probably am. But, let's see. Let's reference myself on the map here. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay. Alright, so that's all that is. It's just really kind of crazy with the vortex and all this does. Kind of screws up almost... I mean, you almost might think about, like, a ship's telemetry that it would screw up with something like this. It's just really whacked out how it does that. I don't know, maybe it's because we're trying to go through all these rifts and everything at the same time. It's just making things really screwed up. And... Hmm. Well, we're right around the rock wall, aren't we? Oh, yeah, we're right around the... the okay, interesting. And it doesn't really look like I'm going to find much of anything. I'm sort of swirling around the vortex just to see if it happens to pop up perhaps on the periphery of it, but I'm not really finding anything so far. It doesn't preclude that I'm not going to find anything, but it doesn't really look like I'm going to, at least now. So, I don't know. That's worth a shot, and if I don't find it, whoop de doo uh, As for what I want to do afterward, I, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. I may go ahead and see about doing the final pistol battle while we still have Enrique in the party, because his Justice Shield has been very useful so far, and I think it will be exceptionally useful for said PSL fight. Then we'll drop Enrique off, and I figure probably pick Gilder up from there. That's my guess, anyway. Okay, uh, let's see. Where does this put me now, map-wise? Puts me pretty much exactly where I was. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and fly above the clouds, then. Or get above the clouds. Just to maybe get my ship view back here. Boy, man, that's really just, just utterly disorienting. I don't know what it is. I don't think it was any sort of manual change of the ship's view, because 
Well, I mean, yeah, I did manually change it going up and out of the funnel, but I don't think that really affected it in regards to the, um, in regards to us sailing around trying to find that discovery around the vortex. Because then that's just a whole different ball game, and that is probably Pistol. So let's swoop in. Haha, <laughs> I will smash your ship to pieces. Vice, this will be our final battle. Pistol, wait a second. There's something we need to tell you. Nothing can save you now. The only thing I desire is to watch Vice fall by my hand. That is all I live for. I will defeat you. The last seven years of my life rest on the outcome of this very battle. On guard. Isn't it always nice when the bad guy... Well, I, actually, Pistol's not a bad guy. But isn't it nice when the antagonist never listens to anything you have to say? I have my revenge at last. Yeah, you, you keep saying that, and it hasn't happened yet. Okay, alright, of course, uh, when it comes to something like this, we're obviously going to start off with buffering and, or buffing and such, so let's go ahead and get that going. Uh, let's see, you glyph of might yourself. Ika, you need to be obviously doing Delta Shield. Fina, you need to... Let's go ahead and glyph of speed. Yeah, let's go ahead and glyph of speed. And then, Enrique, you need to be doing Justice Shield. That's obviously the pattern, and it will continue to be the pattern forthwith because I don't want to screw with success Die. deluge which should not do is that a physical attack oh it is a physical attack okay well not too terrible nothing that a good sacrum crystal can't cure of course we'll have to see what old doggy does this turn too oh okay you're gonna try to poison me and nope Sorry. Nice try, though. Let's try this. Okay, so this should make it to where we go first. So that means we can start levying some power on Piastol and see how that goes from there. Uh, okay, obviously I don't want to levy any power on her just yet. First, I want to levy power on the dog. And you'd think I'd know this better by now? <laughs> Sorry, I'm still having to look on the screen and go, Oh, wait, which color do I choose? You'd think I'd know this better by now, but I don't know. I guess, to some degree, it still does take some getting used to, even later toward the end of the game. Okay, now, Fina. Yeah, let's go ahead. I mean, I suppose I could go ahead and just have her focus or something of that ilk. I don't want to risk the damage, though, so let's heal. And then, buddy old pal, just a shield for you, please, sir. And I think we should... Well, maybe not this turn, but maybe have enough SP to be able to go forward. Okay, good. That's fine. That's within tolerable. That is not. Let's try this. Okay, well. Isn't that nifty? And it still heals Enrique, even though he's some stone. Interesting. Okay. I was going to say, though, the damage that was done to Enrique was within tolerable limits, but obviously him being stoned is not. So, let's see, we're not going to have enough to do Pirate's Wrath plus the... Oh, actually, we do, with plus Delta Shield, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and then, Madame, I need to have you Curia Enrique, because I don't want him staying stoned. That would be bad. Very, very bad. Wow. Ha <laughs> ha The bracer's done good. And the doggy be dead. Okay. Well, good. Nice to see the doggy is as easy to take out as usual. And welcome back to us, Enrique, good sir. Okay, so... That actually is pretty much a, gain, a full gain as a turn. Because, well, the dog didn't get to attack and Pia Stoles did nothing. So, hey, I'll take that any day of the week. Okay, let's move you over to green here and have you go ahead and start physically attacking her. Then, obviously, keep the pattern with the rest of them because I don't want death magic smacking me upside the head. Let's see. Uh, all right, go ahead and focus, my dear. And you, sir, obviously, just a shield, please. It's good to see that him being stoned didn't get rid of any of the buffs. Well, specifically, or 
Did it get rid of the speed buff? I'll have to look. It may have. Also, Delta Shield, screw you. Hmm, okay. Well, maybe I should be focusing on normal combat turns. <laughs> I know uh, some of y'all mentioned that before, so uh, let's actually do that now and go ahead and keep up the usual pattern with these two. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and focus for the big hit. We can use Judgment too, but I think Pirate's Wrath's going to be a lot better. First, I just realized something actually, now that I think about it. That first blow, I did all wrong. And I say all wrong because I forgot to switch a couple of things. This time though, I'm not going to forget. Hello, Tempest Dance. Much longer Tempest Dance. Oh, yeah, much longer Tempest Dance. Hi. You, you, you hurt. Okay. Without the Justice Shield, it would hurt a heck of a lot worse. Okay, so this turn we should be able to do Pirate's Wrath. And this time, I shall remember to switch around a couple of things because I totally forgot last time. That is, for one, eat some fish. For two, I need to take the freaking white map off because I had it on. Get on there, Captain's Hat. Okay, now then, let's go ahead and unleash our fury. And then, of course, continue with the pattern as usual. And, madam... Hmm, I think probably the best move is... Let's go ahead and heal Vice right now. I don't want to take that risk. Let's see, where is... There you are. Heal that... Let's see, Sacrilin. I, yeah, I can use Sacrilin. I mean, might be a little bit of overkill, but not too much. Alright, then, of course, go ahead, sir. And I think this should do a pretty good job of taking... It's not going to take Pistol out, obviously. But it'll have a pretty good shot of taking her down. And we'll probably get into Happy Time, I think, at that point. Although, obviously, with a battle like this, I'm not going to sit here and count my chickens. I'm just going to enjoy the music a bit. Yeah, a 5,500. I mean, obviously, she's got bigger defense than the doggy, so it's not going to be as huge of an issue. Uh, all right, go ahead and focus, and then, I guess, just keep up the usual defensive pattern. I don't think we really need to heal right now, so let's just go ahead and do this. Get ready for another Pirate's Wrath next turn. Also... Interesting that it's not letting me skip Justice Shield anymore. That's weird. It's as though it knows that Enrique's about to leave the party, and I guess I just have to relish those super moves. Alright, so you're gonna hit Vice again. Okay, well, I guess Fina will be healing him next turn. Again. Yep, Fina's healing him again next turn. <laughs> Definitely. Because I want him to be able to essentially embrace unbridled fury with Pirate's Wrath coming up. Alright, so let's go ahead and levy this on you. Then, obviously with the rest, keep up the usual pattern. Madam, do another Sakrulen, if you would, please. If you would select Vice, please. There you go. And then, sir, go ahead. I guess you just have to, you have to push start in the first couple of seconds of Justice Shield, otherwise it traps you in the animation fairly early. Just a little bit of a weird observation, I suppose. Okay, good. So I think one more turn of this and she's gone. Because her HP is down at a premium right now, and she doesn't have the Death Hound around to heal her, so I think we're in pretty good shape as far as that goes. But of course, we still need to prepare accordingly. So let's go ahead and prepare. I mean, why not? Take her down now or waste a few times like I've done earlier taking her down later. I guess it's one thing that even though it's taken me a while to really... Man, you really are going after Vice this time. Jeez. I know y'all. some of y'all have gotten onto me from time to time about the way I've played the game, and I can understand it. All the same, though, I guess there is some merit to trial and error and trying to learn things the hard way, which, if any of y'all know anything about me, it is that I am stubborn as crap, and 
I will continue to do things the hard way long after I really should do otherwise. <laughs> but uh, I do eventually learn my lesson, I promise. Okay, this will actually have us just enough SP to finish this out, so we should, I think, be good to go after this battle is done with. And there we go, and go ahead just in case. Although I don't think it's going to be particularly necessary. No, I don't want to slack off right at the end here. Especially when she casts the turnip on the entire party. Or just Fina, that's right. And that's it for Pistol. She takes one final collapse to the mat. And we are, once again, victorious. <laughs> hey, maybe now she'll actually listen to us for a change. Who'd have thunk it? And everybody levels up, nice. And we get a purple spell for Enrique, go figure. And we get a light dress for, obviously, one of the girls. Piastol. I knew I would lose. Having fought you three times already, I knew that I was no match for you. Only a fool would think otherwise. And I know that you aren't lying. Then why have you been fighting us all this time? Then, then why? Why'd you still fight? If it wasn't you air pirates that took my father's life, then what have the last seven years of my life been for? For what reason have I fought alone all these long years? I lost my reason for living. No, it was wrong for me to only live for revenge in the first place. That is why I thought that I deserved to die by your hand, to cleanse myself of this life, that, of this lie that I've lived. You know you could just turn your life around, don't you? I mean, I know it's not easy, but you could, say, try to find your sister, now that we know she's your sister. You could, say, hire yourself out as a mercenary, or maybe become an air pirate yourself and dedicate yourself to the idea of making sure that something that, so, that something like something that happened to you and your crew never happened again? I mean, just a thought. Pistol. Pistol. Near Sailor's Island, there's a small doctor's ship. Go find it. Doc and your sister, Maria, are on board that ship. What? If you're lying to me, I shall make you pay with your life. Hey now, didn't you just say that you believed us? You better do something about that temper of yours. Vice, is it really true? Can I trust you? But no, I can't see them. Not like this. Not as the angel of death. I can't let them know what's become of me. Oh, come on. Relax, Piastol. Just go see them already. I'm sure that Doc and Maria would be more than happy to see you, too. Now, get going. We don't have time to sit here and smell the roses. We've got sailing to do. Oh, I almost forgot. I wanted to tell you one thing. Piastol, you're not the angel of death. You never were. You've always been Maria's older sister. Just ask her. I'm sure she'll tell you the same. Vice, I... I don't know what to say. Well, thank you would be nice. Maybe we'll see you again somewhere out in this big blue sky. Until then, Piastol. And, wow, just like that, we're finished. I've got to admit, I, I, I have to say, I think it was a little anticlimactic, honestly. I mean, not that necessarily that there needed to be this huge epic ending to it, but it just kind of ended. And I, I wish it hadn't. I wish there had been at least a little bit more to it. Because now it's just kind of like, oh well. Cutscene! 
Oh god, uh, what are you doing back, Baltor? Blackbeard squared? I already beat you, didn't I? Captain Baltor, there's a really, really powerful looking ship coming our way off port side. It's the ship that everyone's talking about, the Delphinus, the one that the Blue Rogue Vice commands. Yeah, that'd be us, all right. <laughs> so, Vice, we meet again. This time, I have a little something special for you. All right, men, on the pride of the Black Pirates, kill them all. What? Hey, come on now. Ah. Vice, Black Pirates dead ahead. Wait, hey, isn't that Baltor's ship? <sighs> Looks like they've done a little work on their own ship as well. Let's go test out their new defenses for them. Well, since you put it that way, Okay then, I... Uh, <laughs> I didn't expect us to have this too. Okay. So we basically have a vengeance battle. <laughs> Do you like the power of the new and improved Blackbeard? This ship is equipped with nothing but the best stuff that stolen money can buy. It's the ultimate Black Pirate ship. <laughs> well, screw you too, good sir. Alright, one thing, I finally remembered to use my captain's stripes. Yeah, plural. Stripes. So, the ship is now up to the full measure of its power. Also, I feel like an idiot for having to say that sentence in the first place. But, uh, yeah. Alright, so, let's uh, go ahead and do the usual. Get ourselves all psyched up here. And, let's see... Ica, you, Apawax. Fina, you go ahead and get our spirit up here. Uh, that's the... Okay. Not exactly what I'm looking for. Gear Grease, there we go. Then, Enrique, if you would, please. Let's go ahead and... I mean, I suppose. Uh, I don't need that, really. I could use another Gear Grease, I guess. I could use Speed Wax. I don't know. I mean, it's there's any number of options, really. Let's, uh, let's do a Rudder Grease, I guess. Might as well. Of course, what I also should have done is... Um, depressed his power, so... Oh, well. We'll have to see what they've got up their sleeves. Okay, Vega Cannon Plus. Eh, not bad, actually. I mean, with Apple Wax on, it's 3,000, so it'd probably be around 4,000 or so without that on. So, yeah, not bad. Granted, we haven't started attacking you yet, so you've yet to see our full and unmitigated power, but... Anyway. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> wow, okay. Never mind, this isn't a real battle. This is just... This is just him sitting there shaking his fist going at us, going, DRAT YOU, VICE! And oh my god, just in case we hadn't done enough to it, we would potentially have two, count them, two Moonstone Cannon turns, and another two full command turns, which is just insane. Anyway, let's, let's end this. I mean, not that we really need to do much else, but you know what? Since, since they don't have much power to them, let's just go ahead and lay it on thick. Yeah, I suppose I could defer it to the next turn and what have you, but why? Considering that that ship's almost dead? Why? Yep, yeah, that's fine. Keep going. Go ahead. I don't care. You're doing 3,000 a pop. I'm doing four times that. So, forget it. In fact, my freaking cannon coil sunk you. That was just embarrassing. And we get free experience. And we get lots of stuff. Timing valve, spherical figure, hybrid wax. I'm about to look and see what those are. Curse you, Vice! How could you defeat me again? 
The next time we meet, I will defeat you! You will rue the day that you crossed Baltor! Not if I keep sinking all your ships. Good job, Vice! Seriously, that fool doesn't know when to give up, but at least he's not a quitter. Not only do you have the Armada chasing you, Vice, the Black Pirates are after you as well. You're quite popular. <laughs> this isn't the kind of popularity that I need. Well, I'm glad my last battle on the Delphinus was a victorious one. Enrique? <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, Sailor's Island should be coming up soon. Vice, let's go. Oh, well, I wasn't sure if it was actually going to let us just straight there or not. Uh, also, where am I in, in... There it is. Okay, I was about to say, where am I in comparison to Sailor's Island now that I think about it? Enrique, are you really going? I... I am the Prince of Valua. I must return home to warn everyone of Gaussian's plans. Gregorio was willing to give his life for what he believed in. I must do the same. You, all of you, taught me so much. About ships, about the sky, what it means to fight. And... You taught me that there are all kinds of people in this world. People worth fighting for. People worth dying for. I want to protect them. All of them. I want to build a country where the people don't have to live in fear. Please forgive me for leaving your side, but I've got to save Valua. Ah, well... I'm... Uh, well, first off, I'm a little surprised that it gives us three choices here. That's just wrong. I mean, y'all have pointed out before that Vice, especially Vice, have really leaned on the airsick thing a little too much, and I agree. I mean, halfway through Enrique's time with us, they're still going, oh, you're getting airsick. And meanwhile, Enrique was busy being a badass. I don't see this being the right option either because he's pretty resolute in his choice, and I don't think we can dissuade him of it, nor would it be a good idea to try. Be careful out there. You better come back and visit us at Crescent Isle someday. Aye. Sure, I'll be back to see you. And for Princess Moegi. Well, just in case we had any doubts about those two, I guess potentially being together. Enrique, be careful! If you don't come back and visit us, I'm coming after you! Thank you, everyone. I'll never forget our travels together. Ah, uh, well... Bye, Enrique. I hope you come back to the party, but I'm, I'm kind of doubting it at this point. Okay, well, suddenly, here we are. Party of three. Almost sounds like I'm wanting to get a table at a restaurant. Ah, uh, so I guess what we can do is just sort of run around the place. I figure at least go to the bar. And also, is that list still here? I think the list got... No, no, it didn't. Hey! We're three stars now! So we're on the same level as Tenko and Gilder. <laughs> and then Dine... Well, poor Dine. We, we've eclipsed our dad. And the Angel of Death is now out of commission. But unfortunately, Trachma only seems to rate one star, or one skull, I suppose. Okay, so let's go to the bar, I guess, if there's any real doubt as to where to go. That's a decent place to start. And, I guess... Okay, uh, nothing new there. Uh, you got anything to say? Nope, nothing new here. Let's see, you got any news for me, Anne? Uh, doesn't really look like it. Okay. Yeah, wow, there's nothing new, I suppose. This is kind of weird. Uh, maybe go to the Sailor's Guild. See if there's anything new on their end of things. 
It's kind of odd, though. I mean, we're, we've been so used to having four people in our party, it's weird to have three. Vice the Hero. Wait, I got a new title? Sweet! I don't think I have any discovery information to sell. Nope. I got plenty to buy, though, if I wanted to. I mean, two, three, five, seven, nine, eleven? Fifteen? Sixteen? Jesus! Well, I, I mean, it is a pretty lengthy list of discoveries, so wow, we. Oh my goodness. I mean, granted, of course, I could just go ahead and find them myself. The money doesn't matter at this point, really. I've got so much money, I don't particularly know what to do with it at the moment. Although y'all told me when I get Ilkmiss's shop upgraded, that money's gonna disappear. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see. Uh, I guess... It doesn't really seem like there's much else we can do here. It's kind of funny. I mean, I'm just thinking about when we started the game. I thought Sailor's Island was going to become a real sort of entrepot for us, but it hasn't particularly. It's, uh, it's just kind of been there. Instead, the entrepot primarily has been mostly our own Crescent Isle. Or, I mean, well, I guess actually really that's about it, now that I think about it. Hmm. Okay, well... I, I think what I'm going to do then, actually, since there's not really been anything to cut, is I'm going to go ahead and leave things off here. And next time on Skies of Arcadia Legends, we're going to leave Sailor's Island and, well, see what to do from here, because there's really not a whole heck of a lot else except, I guess, go back to Crescent Isle and get Fina's ship fixed up and see what we need to do with it and all that good stuff. So, thank you guys for joining me, and I'll see y'all later.